Hello. The next battle is Supply Raid. Supply Raid is really an easy battle. You don't have to do anything with your army because you're given an army. It's an all-cav army. And uh, this is a really easy battle if you dismount your units. If you fight the entire battle with all of your units mounted the entire time, this is an easy battle to lose. And you don't want to do that. So the first thing to recognize is that this is best fought dismounted. I like to have maybe a unit or two mounted for counterattacks, but basically you want to fight this dismounted um, 90%. The other thing is that uh, cav units really shoot through ammo. So as soon as your supply wagon comes into the battlefield, you want to get that to the front line. Because if you can keep those units supplied, they do awesome damage. And if you, they become, if they run out of ammo, they're going to fire at one-third speed, which is no good. You have to keep these units firing at 100% speed the entire time to have the best result. Now, I'm not going to intentionally get my men killed, but this is a battle where the idea is to go after the enemy. Close with and destroy the enemy. And losses are not... It's not that they don't matter. Your mission is really clear. Go after, close with, and destroy the enemy. So you're going to take casualties, but that's not as important as taking the enemy out. And at the end of this, you should get a nice supply of good weapons. The Union Army in this battle is good and has really good weapons. And at the end of this, you're going to get great weapons for your main army. So that's good. Now, one of the things about fighting with cav units is it, it, the way this works is you can target have a dismounted unit uh, target an enemy unit and that's great and what will happen is it will advance fire then it will retreat reload after it's reloaded it will advance again and fire now that works great because you can just it's kind of like a um, give give a command and forget about it and I do that in Richmond. You know, you have a lot of units on the battlefield. And I'll tell my units to fire at this guy, and then I'll just walk away. And, it, it, and my cav unit will just fire over and over and over again. But basically it's firing at about half speed, because it wastes a lot of time advancing and retreating, reloading, and then advancing, getting into position, and firing. So in a long battle with a lot of units, that makes it easy, you know, that's easy to manage, it makes it easier. In this battle, you don't want to do that. And, and the way you make your units fire faster is you micromanage them. Now you don't have to, but if you want them to fire as fast as possible, you have to micromanage them. And, and what you want to do is um, keep pushing them forward. The, the algorithm, the programming for this thing is to fall back and you have to not allow them to do what they're programmed to do. So that means you have to constantly tell them to advance. Keep going forward, keep targeting units, and keep advancing. The other thing that is really interesting about these guys and also regular skirmisher units is if anything gets in front of one of these units, um, you're no longer really targeted at that unit. It won't fire. It'll just fall back and do nothing and not fire. But if you hover over the unit, it'll say that it's firing at this guy. But it's not. So you have to pay very close attention that units don't get their line of sight blocked because they'll, they'll just stop firing. And, um, and, and then they won't pick up the target afterwards. Let's say something moves in front of your unit and then that something moves out of the way. It's not like the computer program is smart enough to say, okay, get back into firing mode. No, it'll just sit there and do nothing. So you have to continuously make sure that your units have a clear line of sight and it, it, with, with both dismounted cav and also with pure skirmisher units, not detached skirmishers so much, but with like your sniper units. So that their line of sight isn't broken and that they're really firing at the thing that the computer tells you they're firing at. So you might have a red line and, and think that your unit is firing, but it isn't. So yeah, it takes a lot of micromanagement. And probably half 
of the time that I have my units on pause is just making sure units are doing what I'm telling them to do. And this is a battle where I recommend you hit pause. Well, I hit pause a lot. But this is a battle where you really have to hit pause a lot. Because um, if you want the units to keep firing as fast as possible and to support each other uh, properly and to go where you want them to go and not where they want to go, then you have to really force them to, to do things that they don't want to do, which means a lot of micromanagement. So otherwise, they'll just move up, fire, fall back, and take their time. You don't want to do that. I've, I've probably fought this battle a dozen times and never ran out of supply in every battle except one. In this battle, I run out of supply because I don't pay attention to when the supply wagon shows up. So probably the single most important thing in this battle is make sure you pay attention to your supply wagon. When it shows up, get that thing moving forward as quickly as possible and you shouldn't have any trouble. So yeah, here I'm looking for the supply wagon. But uh, yeah, you have to, I don't actually catch it as soon as it comes in. So yeah, I like having kind of a backup also, um, so that if my unit gets attacked or meleeed um, or pressure is put on a unit, there's a unit behind it that can fire into the, uh, the melee combat. So basically this is just keep your volume of fire up and keep pressing the enemy, don't give them a chance. The um, enemy cav will come in. When that happens, it's going to be really intense for a while because they're going to come after you. It's, um, uh, I don't have any problem with falling back. This is a cav battle. There should be a lot of advance, retreat, a very fluid battle. And um, also, remember, these are cav units. You can mount up a bunch of units and and very quickly get them on the enemy flank or get them to the enemy rear, dismount them and do good work. Um, you can always, if you see a supply wagon, you can always mount up a unit and go after it. So yeah, should be a very fluid battle. It's a lot of fun. And at the end of it, there's a big reward in weapons. So hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the battle. Thanks.